on this Thursday morning with a live look right now in Lawrence on our Bordner City camera. We do have still a light mixture of rain, sleet and snow falling across Kansas City that extends out through areas close to Lawrence. I think the one thing that's certainly worth noting that will be impactful for today as well, the of air that we're going to see across our area for today. It's not going to feel spring like you're going to want to pull those heavier coats out again as you're moving out the doorway this morning. The latest look of live power Doppler. We do certainly still have this winter mix moving across the city. The majority of this fairly light. You could certainly see some of those big fat snowflakes mixing with raindrops in your headlights if you're an early morning commuter and hearing those pings of some of that sleet that's falling across the metro right now. But the good news, the majority of our pavement in the middle 30s above freezing, so primarily wet on those roads for this morning. The latest look of live power Doppler right over areas of Johnson County, Kansas here. We've got a little batch of that winter mix. Olathe, Gardner, Overland Park, right into Shawnee, downtown Kansas City, and then extending north of the river. That mix continues for areas of Claycomo, Gladstone, up through 152 Highway, extending through Liberty and Kearney. Got one little burst here over the city, but the more organized winter mix right in this zone, right over areas of I-70 and 50 highway on the Missouri side of the state line. And this is where I expect it may be a little bit more impactful for your morning routine with this winter mix, heavy rain. We have some bursts of heavier snow moving through south and east across our viewing area this morning. I wanted to update you on the newest timeline of when this mess moves out of town. And I do anticipate for most of us, It'll be just kind of murky and we'll have this mix for the next couple of hours. I have a 50% chance of that winter mix through our morning rush hour, the beginning of it at 7 a.m. But I anticipate by about 9 to 10 o'clock, most of our viewing area, including the east side, will begin to completely dry out across our area. A couple very light rain showers of potential, mainly just sprinkles extending into this afternoon. Just a cool, cloudy feel for the second half of the day. Forecast track. This is the new update that just came in right Right on the money with the heavier winter mix south and east across our viewing area as we're moving through this morning. As we're heading towards mid morning by about 9 to 10 o'clock, all of this will begin to shift into central Missouri moving out of our viewing area. I do anticipate these clouds will be with us through this afternoon and again a quick little shower later today, but the majority of us just cloudy and cool through this afternoon. I do have that storm track by weather alert posted for this morning by tomorrow. The sunshine is back by Saturday. It gets even better. We're going to climb into the 60s and after seeing very unsettled conditions all week long after seeing unsettled conditions last weekend this weekend looks fantastic. Kansas City highs in the 60s for both Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy it because I do have a storm track five weather alert posted that next storm system will be with us bright and early by Monday for the beginning of next week. Over to you, Gina. Thanks, Aaron. It's